Hi, this is Amy from With Love by Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to make this fun fall card using an embossing folder. My kids are going to do some crafting and stick around till the end for a fun surprise. Thanks. Um, here's chocolate chip ink and we're going to use this piece of paper because that looks like a forest. Can we make this look like a forest? Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, so what we're going to do, Reggie, is we're going to use this deer. Mommy, can I use that? What do you want to use, sweetie? You want to use a pink one? We're going to, yeah. okay, after we do the deer, we'll do something pink, okay? But probably on a different card. I know you love pink. We'll do pink after this. All right, kiddo. Hey, Reagan, watch it. Do you want to help with this or are you leaving? Reagan, are you helping or are you leaving, sweetie? We need a, um, hey, Reggie. Reggie, hey, we don't need hand sanitizer right now. But you know what we do need? We need a post-it note. I want okay. this. Okay, here, can you hold one? On your hands. You want some of that on your hands? Okay. All right, let's, here. One drop, two drops. Good job, that's enough. All right, so we need to put the post-it note over the reindeer's antlers because we don't need his antlers to show up, okay? But we need to put some ink on the reindeer. Can I have a pink light? We'll do pink in, in a little bit, okay? Ah, I just got chocolate ink all over me. Hold on, don't touch it, Reagan. <laughs> you just got ink everywhere. Hold on, Reggie, here. Ah. Hold on, you can take a turn in a minute, Riker. Hold on, wipe your finger off. Hold on, we're trying to do something really quick. Okay. I'm doing a pink one. Okay. I like that too, bunny. You like that bunny on there? All right, so you got to see my kids doing a little helping in the craft room. And yes, that's what it's always like when they're crafting with me. So, all right, so what I'm doing is I'm stamping the deer on the raised part of the embossing folder so that when we run it through the embossing machine or the die cut machine, it will look like the deer is in the forest, basically. Is it again? You can do it again if you want. My daughter picked that card out for me that you see on the sidelines there. I don't want a copyright claim, so I did not play any of the music, but it is from her favorite movie that stars Elsa. Eight, two, one, go. All right, so what I'm doing here is I have a white pigment ink, I think, and I'm just trying to make the trees look a little bit more defined, I guess. And I work on this for quite a while. I don't show all of it, but I don't really like the results. So I go over it with the brayer and a light tan ink, which I think is crumb cake from Stampin' Up. It's an older ink, but I just go over it a couple times to try to make the trees look more like trees. And it is a fall scene, in my opinion, I guess. So that's what we're going for. Um... And we're going to start, and the kids are going to help here again. We're going to put leaves on the bottom. The kids didn't do much talking during this, so we just we just have hands here helping. Um, but they decided that um, we should do a bunch of a bunch of leaves all over the place. And the trees, of course, still had to have some leaves on them. So we are gluing leaves on the ground where the falling leaves would be. And yes, the kids did help me punch all those out because I have a old tiny punch that punches little tiny leaves and so the kids helped me punch out bunches and bunches and bunches and bunches of leaves and it was fun to have all those colorful leaves and to get the kids to help and they did help with 90 percent of putting the leaves on i was amazed at how long their focus lasted because they are three and five my daughter's three my son is five and they love to help with craft stuff and if you didn't catch it in the beginning of the video my daughter is very obsessed with pink, and she wanted to do something with pink. So after this, we made some rainbow cards. And yes, her rainbow focused heavily on pinkish colors. I'll post pictures of those on Instagram at some other point in time, because we didn't film that part. But, um, all right, so here's my special, my little special ending to this video. I decided that um, fireflies should be happening in this forest. So I had recently gotten some of that glow-in-the-dark embossing powder from WOW. My mom sent it to me for my birthday. Super appreciative. I love it. All right, so then I use my embossing bag, and I have a Versamark pen, 
and I just drew little dots on the card with the Versamark pen after um, after the embossing bag was very heavily ad um, administered to it. And I did Google, and it said that fireflies can be seen in the fall as well, because I remember only ever seeing them really in the spring, but it is said that they can be seen in the fall as well. So my card is accurate seasonally, apparently, according to Google, because we know Google knows all, right? Um, so yeah, I did a whole bunch of dots, and then of course I dumped the embossing powder over the top. The only lesson that I learned with this is I embossed the first, you know, selection of um, glow-in-the-dark dots that I wanted on there. However, I should have run the embossing um, anti-static powder tool over the card again before I did a second layer because you'll see in my end-of-the-game photos that, um, yeah, I should have, I should have done that because it did not, it didn't work out so well. It didn't look so clean as an end result with doing more dots and not um and not putting more anti-static powder tool on there lesson learned all right so now that i have my glow in the dark embossing dots on the card i am going to try to construct my own envelope however i couldn't seem to find instructions for the type of envelope that i wanted i wanted one that was like a rectangular like end opening envelope for a mini slimline card because that's what this ended up being I don't know if I mentioned that before but this ended up being a mini slimline card and so um, basically what I did here after a lot of pondering and I cut out a lot of um, footage because it took a lot of just like figuring out stuff <laughs> because I could not find instructions online how to do this but basically what I ended up doing was making one side of the envelope and just making it a half inch wider, a little over half inch wider than the card. Because of course, you know, you need some wiggle room in the envelope. It needs to not be perfectly tight. Um, so I made it a half inch wider than the card, which I believe many slimline cards, I think are three and a half inches. So I probably made the paper four inches then, if that's accurate. And I just made it, so I scored a line at a quarter inch from the edge on each side and there you see me measuring it up and I literally just freehanded it I made sure it was long enough because I think the card was six inches tall so I made the envelope I think I made it six and a quarter for the back part and then the part with the flaps I literally freehanded it I think I made the bottom flap like a half inch and there I'm burnishing the edges to get the adhesive to stick really good and I made the bottom half or the bottom flap like half an inch, and I think I made the top flap like maybe an inch and a quarter, and I freehanded the cuts on the top, the angle cuts. It's this card is actually gonna go to my mom for her birthday because she loves wilderness and stuff. And um I thought it was kind of fitting. So I'm putting score tape there on the bottom to seal that up. I really like using score tape when I make envelopes because I feel like it holds really well. And there I was sticking the card back in and out of the envelope. And then I realized that I wanted there to be, and this I should have, I should have done a better job at this. I should have measured to see where center would be because this caught here to make there be space to grab the card out. It was very off, but I'm trying to resurrect it. It didn't work so well, but honestly, I didn't waste any paper doing this. I didn't mess anything up. Um, I just, it didn't turn out as cleanly as I wanted to. I'm sure if I had hit a template, which... I'm thinking now I'm going to make a template. <laughs> um, maybe I need to start a blog. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you think I should start a blog and make templates for stuff like this. I really love how the envelope turned out. It, the card did not snag going in and out of the envelope at all. Um, and then I didn't think about it at the very moment, but I was like, well, what if I'm going to mail this card? So what I did was I took a black Sharpie and I just colored a sort of circle or ovalish shape in the front. And then I took a, a jelly roll, white jelly roll pen, and I wrote, please deliver to, and I'm not going to send it, but here's the finished card. And here we go. Here's my special surprise that I mentioned in the beginning. It is the glow in the dark dots. I love it. This turned out amazing. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. 
And here's some videos that you may enjoy. Have a great day. Come back soon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.